Hi everybody. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ashley and I have two little ones, two under two. And um, my oldest is 23 months old and my youngest is seven months old. And this video, I'm gonna do a, um, a good sit down video about my breastfeeding journey and what I'm doing to keep up my supply and I'm sorry I'm watching my son because he's on his way over here but what I'm doing to keep up with my supply um, some tips on if your supply does drop because it does it did happen to me and let's just get into the video so first things first when I did have my daughter I could uh, she would not latch on she did at first she latched on with the nipple shield uh, I wish I had the nipple shields with me but I don't um, I'm going to see if I can get one to, to show you guys a picture of it or something in the corner or something like that. Um, but she did latch on with a nipple shield. She fed very well for like the first two days with it, went home, and she would not latch back on as much as I tried. Um, at this moment, we know now why, because she does have a lip tie. And a lip tie is, I don't know if you guys know, but there's a... Uh, um, web above your lip that attaches to your gums where your teeth are and hers comes all the way down and it's very low down in between her two front teeth <laughs> and um, she could not latch on because of that I still haven't realized whether or not she has a tongue tie but I do know she has a lip tie she does give me a hard time with the brushing of the teeth because now I know that um, so with her, with my daughter, I wasn't able to breastfeed physically, like putting her on my breast, but I was able to pump and feed through a bottle. Now, when I was, I remember my milk came in, we left the hospital day two, so my milk came in like a day and a half later, I want to say two days later, and with that, I do have pictures, I believe, which I'm going to um, also put on here, but I know that... Um, she, with her, I had, uh, 10 ounces, five and five, so altogether it would be 10 ounces. That lasted about a couple of days, um, uh, something happened, I'll get into that in a, in a later video, but I ended up not eating, not drinking, which decreased my supply, and it ended up being, I would be able to pump five altogether, so like two and three, um, and it was very bad. It started decreasing even more after that. When I got back to work, it decreased a lot more after that. And eventually I ended up stopping with the breastfeed, with the breast um, pumping and everything with her at five months. And because I wasn't making enough, I was substituting with formula. So she had formula up until, as always, with um, babies, up until she was one, and then she started whole milk. Um, then with my son who is climbing right now. My son, he, he, um, when he was born, I was determined to make sure I was able to exclusively breastfeed. So when he was born, um, I constantly kept putting him on. Um, I do work at a, um, hospital on the postpartum floor, so I already know how it all works out. The baby will go to a nursery, you ask them, you let them know you want to feed on demand. So when feeding on demand, Hold on, give me one second. I don't know if you guys can see him, but this is Mr. Roxas. Hey, Roxas. Don't mind his shirt. He's all dirty. He just woke up from a nap. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to do a video on it, on him, but this is his little introduction. Yes. So, um, with Roxas, uh, like I said, you want to, when the baby goes off to a nursery, you want to feed on demand. So, the baby will be returned back to your room. And you keep on feeding. You keep feeding from the right side, the left side, and you do 20 minutes, 20 minutes. And it doesn't matter if he doesn't, if he or she does not stay on for the whole 20 minutes on one breast. If he or she does, it's great. If they don't, it's still great. So basically, you're you're wanting to signal your body to let your body know that you need to make milk for the baby. So with him 
I was feeding on demand. Every single time he wanted to eat, I put him right to the breast. Yes, he did give me a hard time. He gave me a hard time with the left side. Um, he naturally latched on on his own with the right side. No problem. When it came to the left side, he would not. I It was a big fight with trying to get him to latch on. Um, things like that. It was, it was tough. But I did push through. I ended up with a nipple shield on my left side, which he would latch on perfectly. So that's how I was able to do that. Um, with this pregnancy, with him, I think I got my milk day three. Around the same time as my daughter. I want to say my daughter, I had it a day after. Maybe four days it came in. But with him, day three it came in. My breasts were engorged. Um, he kept feeding on and off. Um, when you're in a hospital, you chart it. When you're home, you don't need to. But it's good too. So you keep with practice, remembering which one you'll use um, last. But um, but yeah, he that's how we deal with him. Um, the minute I got home, I put myself on the breast pump. So this is what caused me to have an oversupply. <laughs> um, so when I got home, I did continue to do um, breastfeeding, getting him to latch on. He would not latch on when we got home, seeing problem with my daughter. So what I did was I threw myself onto the pump. So. With the pump, I do have Medela. This is my Medela pump. And I will show you guys how to use this. So basically, with my Medela pump, um, I pump every four hours for 20 minutes. Others do say pump every two to three hours for 10 to 15 minutes max. Um, but I do pump every four hours for 20 minutes. And, um, you got these guys, I don't know, I keep forgetting what they're called. I want to say flangelins, I think. I could be saying it wrong. But, there's these. You want to play with them? Okay. <laughs> so, with these, um, I did start off with smaller sizes. So, I had a smaller size for a good four months. Um, please don't drop that. He dropped it. So, um, I did have it for a good four months, um, the smaller sizes. So, these are 27. I believe the smaller ones are 23 or 24. Um, so, I had those. I um, was pumping, like I said, every four hours or 20 minutes. And I started to get with, let me think, with Roxas, I was feeding in the middle of the night so yes he he was feeding he was not sleeping through the night he started sleeping through the night i want to say at two months old beginning of two months old so ending of one month um so yeah so we did that and we um i think i started getting like a full supply because it doesn't start off the the amount that you start to get is not what you're going to expect later in the months. You're going to fully get your milk in. I want to say, I think I think it was like three months, you get your full amount of milk in. So, um, with that said, I think um, around three months, we were getting about, <laughs> I would pump about 17 ounces, I want to say, in the morning. Now, again, that's all together, so I'll get like, um, eight on one side, nine on the other. My left side is the one that holds the most milk versus my right side. Um, I don't know why, to be honest, but that's how it works uh, with me, at least. I, I'm, I'm sure that other people have the same thing. So, um, but yes, like I said, I was pumping all the time. Um, in the middle of the night when he did wake up, I did at first start to put him on my breast in the middle of the night, but I did catch myself uh, falling asleep with him that way. So I decided to stop doing that and I'll feed him in the night. Hi! I'll feed him during the night um, through a bottle, which I did. Um, my husband would take a turn, I would take a turn, that's how we worked it out. Um, so there was that. And then, um, so real quick, I'll actually show you guys how this works. So, this is where you put your tubing. Um, this little guy right here, if you pop this out and put it into another one just like that and only have one tubing, this is so you can be able to pump out a one um, 
breast while you're breastfeeding, you can do that. You can also use the Hakka, which I do have. Um, also, okay, so I don't know if everybody, not a lot of people know this, but this little button right here, when you do turn on this machine, it does um, do like this pattern where the pumping starts, it starts off slowly, keep going, keep going, and after like about three minutes, I want to say, it starts off with this really like pulling sensation on your breast. So if you do feel that, that means that there's a pattern going on, which you can constantly keep with that pattern with this button. So once that, that pumping session is done, um, that, that one session is done, then you can click it again and it'll start up that session again. And you'll feel it. It'll, it'll start all over again and then start pulling at your at your um, breast. Um, this little guy right here, you could turn it and turn it all the way over. And again, you don't need to have it on something crazy. You could do it in the middle, um, directly in the middle. It's technically where you're comfortable at. Sometimes I don't even um, put it all into the middle. Sometimes I just leave it at like three-ish. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Um, I do actually have two cords, power cords, <laughs> because I forgot one before, but I do have two. And, um, but yes, yeah, so you hook yourself up, you pump, you pump for the 20 minutes, and you're done, you store your milk away. What I do with my milk is I used, because I had such an oversupply, I would pump, and then I'll put it away into, um, a, to the refrigerator, and whatever I have, up, I used to, um, store about five baggies in the refrigerator. Um, so now what I do is, say hi everybody, say hi baby, say hi. So what I do now is I, um, my husband actually had bought me mason jars. I know that sounds weird, but glass is better than plastic. So I would store my milk into a glass jar and whatever, um, I have, cause I, like I said, I, I leave a certain amount of jars and or bags in my refrigerator. So if it hits a certain amount, which was, I believe mine was six or five, I would store the extra bag into the freezer and that, into the freezer and that's how I got my supply for my freezer so when I'm not home and my husband um doesn't have enough milk or if somebody else like my mother or my mother-in-law does not have enough milk I will always make sure they have that in the freezer for them so there's that and like I I filled up my freezer and I filled up my my mother's freezer and I when I mean by fill up I, I filled up the entire freezer door and um when it's put away in the freezer um it's good for three months um Deep freeze is six months to a year, I believe. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's that. And um, also what I did with my, with my when I first came home, my son, my husband had gotten me these cookies. Um, the lactation cookies from Target, um, the Munchkin brand. They were so good. <laughs> uh, I got the, I think he said it was oatmeal and um, chocolate chip. It was very, very good. Um, and like I, I used to, between... Um, pumping, I would eat two bags a day. They have, they sell a big box of them. So I'll have two bags a day. And I had that during, um, snack time. So I probably, I probably have four bags a day. I would have two, um, in like the morning time between, um, lunch and breakfast and lunch. And then between lunch and dinner, I would have, um, another set of cookies. So that's what I was doing. And then also, you want to drink lots and lots of water. That's what I do all the time. I First thing in the morning, I put out about six bottles of water. And as I'm going through the day, I drink, drink, drink. And to be honest with you, when I go to pee, I will go and grab another bottle of water, chug that, and then throw it away. That's what I would do to make sure I'm drinking enough water. Um, you And it's not just water, you wanna drink lots of fluids because I also have a cup of coffee every morning because I can't, two kids, I get so super exhausted and <laughs> I find myself falling asleep if I don't have coffee. So that's another source of fluids. Um, but I only have one, I never have more than one cup of coffee. So there's that. Um, and also, now with me, like I said in the beginning of the video, I did have, a time and I believe it was four months postpartum when I was breastfeeding I had a loss in my supply um, so to get my my supply back 
Now, remember, I work on a postpartum floor, so what I used to do was I, I actually spoke to a lactation consultant that um, was there with me. Um, she recommended me to move up in one of these guys. That's why now I have these bigger ones. Um, it's 27, the size is 27. So I, I did that. I also, with the machine, like I showed you before, that button, I was constantly doing that. And then after, I would hand express. So, and then on top of that, I would also put my son on my breast. So this is signaling my body that I need to, I need more milk. I need more milk for my baby. So there was that. And I also started drinking a ton more water on top of what I'm drinking. And like I always said, if you think you're drinking enough, drink more. Because <laughs> you're really not drinking enough. And remember, your baby is pulling all the nutrition, all, everything out of you. So you need to drink more. And also be, make sure you're taking your prenatals. Um, so there's that. Um, so I, I mentioned water. Um, let's see. What else did I do? Um, also, that's another thing. Bras. I don't wear regular bras. I use, I usually wear sports bras, especially when I go to sleep. I wear sports bras. Um, when I'm at work, I wear sports bras. The only time I ever wear a regular bra, to be honest with you, is when I go out on like a date. You know, when you want to look nice. <laughs> so, I, um, the reason why, ooh, you hit your forehead. The reason why is because uh, that's another way. If you push your, you know how your bra is, it, it brings up your breast and it, 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 um, tightens everything up and, you know, it snugs. It's not good when you're breastfeeding because you want to have your, your, um, milk flow and everything like that. So, there's that. Now, getting into, um, other stuff, I actually ended up with mastitis about a month and a half ago, I want to say. It was very hard. That was very painful. Um, I ended up with mastitis. Uh, I'm having, I was having an issue at work where, um, they weren't allowing me to have my pumping session. So I ended up skipping out on some days. And this is when I, I work every other weekend. So when a weekend hits, I'm back to back on my weekend. And... When that happened, I was, during my shift, I have to pump twice, and I was only able to pump once, and um, I ended up with mastitis on Monday morning. I did not think I had mastitis, I just thought my breast was just very sore, because they were engorged, because my son doesn't always wake up at night to feed, but when he does, um, he feeds, and I'm not as engorged, but when there's times that he doesn't, I get super engorged. And after I pump, I do feel sore a little bit, but not that way. So after that, I started thinking maybe I had um, mastitis. What are you saying hi to? Are you saying hi hi? Are you saying hi hi? <laughs> um, so I didn't know I had mastitis. So I contacted a few of my nurse friends, and um, they asked me what was going on. I did do some of the stuff that they told me to do. I had a hand express again. Um, they thought that because I have an oversupply, I am more prone to getting mastitis if I'm not pumping enough. And if, um, don't worry, my hands are clean if you can see that he's chewing on my fingers. Um, so there's that. And then when you're in the shower, you want the heat, the, the hot, the hot water to hit your breast and let it, um, it basically loosens everything in there because now I like I was saying they, they 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 thought that I had a clogged duct which is causing an infection which causes the mastitis. So I did not catch a fever, thank God. Um but I was not feeling myself. I was very tired. Um it hurt very badly. I couldn't even reach for anything because it hurt that much. I could barely um I don't know if you guys ever like flexed your breast or anything like that, but if I did that it would hurt really bad anything that would touch it would hurt when my son will feed off of it it would hurt so they told me to do that warm compress oh are you getting very up hi guys sorry about that oh my my uh camera died uh so basically like i was saying before um please don't forget to like subscribe and comment um but yes i'll be back with another video and like I said before, I do film and post Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Please check out my videos and don't forget to leave a comment down below. Thank you so very much and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.